Hello guys, in this video I am going to be talking about this new software for watercolor, Expressy. Uh, this is, uh, I really like its interface, like you can see this is one of the painting I made a few months back. So the best thing about this is like how it is different from ProPaint and Sketchbook is that it works like the as how actual watercolor works. Uh, so I'll take you through this one by one and I'll explain you how this software actually works. So as you can see, we are in the first panel, the menu. So these are the basic load, your know, files, blocks, action. Then we have view, how you want to view it, if you want to zoom it, or if you want to... And see, even when you zoom it too much now, it does not get pixelated. I think that is the best thing about this. And even the paper, it is like the actual watercolor paper. So it gives the real texture and richness of watercolor. And then we have other inputs, like if you want to export like a photograph, or um, if... And like how do you want to use it like you want to use a stylus tailed or mouse or what so i have put on smart devices so well but i'm also using a stylus to draw it along so now we go to the colors so they have given some custom already uh, color palettes to choose and we can also make our new palettes here like you just go to add and make your own color palette so and this is the color wheel and this is how much you want the brush to be dry and how much you want it to be wet and this is again the disposition how much do you want your uh, layers to blend so i'll give you a quick look into this i am choosing my brush a fine large this is too large a fine brush and i just make it a size 4 as you can see this feature is not in other like see if okay why is my uh, this is selected okay so i can also blend my brush like i can rotate and tilt my brush this feature is not in other software this is quite amazing but i'll say one restriction which i found here is I don't know if I can, I can't tilt it, tilt it with my stylus, like I'm using my stylus now and I cannot really tilt it as you can see, but I, I can tilt it using my mouse right click in any way that I want and it is really handy. So what, am I on the razor? Yeah, I'm on the razor. So, uh, suppose this is we have taken a blue color yeah and i want it to be i chose this and i make it dry so as you can see see this is how dry it gets like it is just roughing on the surface and as i add more water in it now you will see a real animation which we don't see in other softwares so can you see it expanding i just Point it at one point and it expands. It um, went on the paper like a real watercolor. So the, I really love this feature of this Expressy software. And this again, how much you want to merge two colors? Let me take this one. Let me take the red one. And you see, we can control how much we want it to get merged into. Okay, maybe this was not a good choice. And it also, as you can see, it is working like actual brush. So it won't to be like sketchbook. Like if you choose different colors, it will randomly just change from blue to change to red. No, it will take time. So if I'm switching to blue, I might change, need to change the entire brush. Or I should just wait for it to change over time. Or I can use it on a rough paper, like make another layer and use it like that. So this is how this works. And 
now let's these are some easy modes as you will uh, figure out why all this quite easier so again here we have three brushes a small the smallest fine one and a multi-purpose brush which is quite a big and here we got sizes different sizes this is the eraser that we have and i'm then this is a spray as you can see i have made uh, small dot dots on this photo this is i made it from the spray this is well why is it not visible well i use okay i have eraser on with this yeah see this is what you do with the spray just like the sprinkling effect of watercolor so this is also a cool feature and then we have pigment pigment is not that good uh, okay so that you can figure out by on the pigment so the pusher mold uh, the pusher mold is as you can read it makes the paper more wet and when you will apply the brush on it uh, it will uh, ex expand more the colors on the paper so I will just turn off the sprayer let's take the brush so I'm making it seven. So let's apply it on the paper over here. Now I turn it off. I take my brush. I'll take a fine brush, big tip, and yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, as you can see, it is expanding more than it actually does. It's spreading more, but the paper is more wet. see and after it is done you can also use this to just merge your colors up here you want to make it more wet and look it the good thing about this is that this paper unlike the actual paper does not tear apart so another good feature of the software thanks to the creators and yeah again this is the tip deformation this is again a cool feature And I can also go with a very fine tuning tip. I can switch it up. And I can also sign. Okay, let me do this. Mm, what's, what's up with this pen? Ah, doesn't look that nice but okay so this is texture like how much you want the texture to the like, disposition is texture how much uh, dark you want your texture to be and how much stuff you want it to be and moving on to shape and text it is which shape of brush that you want if you want a long straight brush okay wait a second why again it is not working yeah so this is how this is long brush we have uh, one as round brush also okay maybe it's, I have made it too wet is it oh it's fine Hmm, okay, got it. Deformation. See, it takes up a little bit time when you use these new brushes. Yeah? See. So, it is an overall very nice software to use. Something happened with my laptop. Okay, then moving on to... Okay, these are some... These tools are some paintings I made. I will show you later. I'm working on the layer one. The thing about it is I have only limited version of this Expressy software. So I'm using the tile version. You can buy it if you are professional, but this is also good. You can use it for like up to 50 times. 
and you will also get, you will only get only three layers. So moving on to controls, we have how much interaction we want it to be with paper. So I have it on like full because I don't want it to be like a sketch up, like a sketchbook. Then composition also you can control how much you want it to blend in. And then we have background underlay if you want some paper to overlay, some paint to overlay over it. Then we have page sizes, moisture and tail software and then we have profile like what kind of paper do you want. So I have it cursive fiber too. I like that paper. It is good. Like others are pretty good too. And then these are just how we want the textures to flow in. If you want it to be very flowy, if you want it to be rough, then the tints and shapes you want to use. So that's it. Uh, so I close this one. So this is one painting I made long back on this. And it's good. It's pretty, it is pretty conceptual and it's sweet. So you can make actual real watercolor looking painting on this digital platform, I would say. So it's pretty good. Try it out and answer me in comments if you like it or not. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.